Now, before we move on to our exercise, that is 1.1, there are certain terminologies that we have to know about and what they mean. Now, in your first sum, they have used two words, local value and true value. Local value means locality where you stay. So that's a place. And therefore, local value and place value means the same. Similarly, true value. When you look at the mirror, you see yourself, your true self. It shows you how you look like. And therefore, like I had discussed in my previous video. <coughs> Similarly, a digit, the way it looks, the way it is pronounced, that becomes its face value, which also means true value. There are another few terminologies that I'd like to discuss with you before we go ahead. So we come across the words like sum, difference, and product. These words in mathematics mean something. And they basically tell you what has to be done or what operation has to be performed with the numbers that have been given to you. Sum means you have to add. If I tell you to find the sum of 2 and 5, it would be 2 plus 5 is equal to 7. The word sum tells you that addition has to be done. The next one is difference. Difference means subtract. Wherever you use or hear the word in mathematics, difference, difference tells you or the sum tells you that you have to subtract the numbers. So if I say find the difference of 7 and 5, it would be 7 minus 5 is equal to 2. The next word that we come across is product. Product means multiplication. You have to multiply. If I tell you to find the product of 2 and 4, that means 2 multiplied by 4. 2 fours are 8. So these are the words and these are their meanings in mathematics. So when you come across sum, it means add. When you come across difference, it means subtract. And when you come across the word product, it means multiply. We now move on to our first sum. And remember, everything has to be written in your notebook. That means you will be taking down the work from your textbook and the answers from the video. I am not writing the local value of one. I'm just writing the answer. But when you write it in your notebook, you write the local value of one dash and take the answer from the video after you have understood it. Now they are saying consider the number 51,078 and to answer the following, the local value of one. Now, local value, that means place value. So I take down the digit one. And after that, as many digits are there, they all get converted to zero. So we have zero, we have seven, we have eight. So I have to put three zeros and then put the comma according to the Indian system of numeration after three digits from the right to left. And therefore the local value or the place value of one out there is 1000. B, the true value of one, true value means face value. One is written like this and we call it one. The true value of a digit is the digit itself. C, the local value of zero. The local value of zero is zero because no matter where you put zero in, in, in any period, if you take down that zero and write zeros after that from left to right for all the other digits that are there after that zero, you'll get so many zeros, but the value still remains zero. So zeros, Zero is the only digit whose face value remains as it is to its true value because no matter in which period you may put it in, the value or the face value remains the same. So the local value, the face value of zero in any, in any period, in any number given to you will always remain zero. D. The true value of five, the true value of five is five. True value of five is five. That's how it is written and we call it five. The local value of seven. Now we look at seven given there in that digit. After seven, there is only one more digit, eight. 
that it changes to zero. And therefore, I come to know that the local value or the place value of seven out there in that particular number is 70. F, the local value of five. So again, I write five. And now I see how many digits are after five. So we have one, we have zero, we have seven, and we have eight. Four digits, all four digits change to zeros. So I will put four zeros. And according to the system of numeration that we are following, the Indian one, I will put a comma after three digits from the right to the left. One, two, three, and I put a comma, it becomes 50,000. So these are the answers to the first sum. Sum number two says, write the place value of the two or two threes in 73,231 and find their difference. We've come across the word difference and I've explained just now difference means subtraction. So I will write first the place value of the two threes in that particular number. So I will write the place value of the first three and the place value of the second three. Now the place value of the first three out there is the very first three. After three, there are three digits two, three, and one, all will change to zeros. So I will get 3,000. And then I have the second three. After the second three, there's only one digit, and that is number one. So that number one will become zero. So here the place value of the second three is 30. Now, where do I write that 30? That 30 goes in its correct place. Three will go under the tens place, and zero will go under the units place, because I have to find the difference. I have to subtract. So 30 will be put here. And now I am finding the difference. So I subtract. Zero takes away zero gives me zero. But when I come to this, I need to borrow. I have to borrow from the previous digit. But the previous digit happens to be again a zero. So I go to the previous digit. And the previous digit is three. So I borrow one from there. Three becomes two. This becomes 10. Borrow one, this 10 becomes nine, and then this becomes 10. Now from 10, take away three is seven. Nine comes down, two comes down. So my answer, 2,970. This is how you do this sum. You take down the place value of the two digits, or actually it's one digit in different place values. So you find out the place value of that one digit in its respective period, put them one under the other and you subtract because the term that is being used in the sum is difference. And I explained to you that difference means subtraction. So I write the place values and then I subtract and get my answer. So now we go to sum number three and sum number three says, write Sorry, which digit in the number 4,578 has the same face value and place value? For a digit to have the same face value and place value, it has to be right at the end of a particular number. That means it has to be in the units place. And here in the units place, we have number eight. So the answer is eight. Why it has the same face value or place value? Because if you take the digit eight from that particular number, it's right at the end. When you take it down, there are no numbers that have to be converted into zero. So eight remains eight. And also the face value of eight, as we know, is the number eight. So for any digit to have the same face value and place value, it has to be in the units place because it does not have any numbers after it or any digits after it to be converted to zeros. So it remains itself. So any digit in a particular number to have the same face value or place value has to be in the units place. So here eight is in the units place. Eight is taken down. There are no other digits after eight to be converted to zero that its value will increase. Its value will not increase. It will remain eight. And the fa uh, face value or the true value of eight is also eight. So 
for a digit to be have the same face value and place value, it has to be in the units place. So here, the digit that has the same face value and place value is number eight. Let's go to sum number four. It says find the sum of the face value and place value of the digit two in two in 720. So take down the number first. Let's take down the number first. Number is 720. Now first, I will find the place value of two. The place value of two in this number is two. After that, there's only one digit that is zero. So zero will remain zero. If it was some other number, we would convert it to zero, but the next number or the next digit happens to be zero. I don't have to convert it, zero remains zero. So here the place value of two is 20. Now let's write the face value. Face value of two out here is two. That's how we write two. That's how two looks like. But where does two go? Because I have to add these two numbers. I have to write, I have to add the face, face value and the face value of two. So I found the place value. Now I'll find the face value. Now I know that the face value of two is two, but because I'm going to add 20 and two, that's the place value and the face value, two has to go in a particular period. Where do I put it? I can't put it in the two because that's in the tens place. Two uh, digits, Face value, as I told you previously, a digit's face value gives it the period of the unit's place. So two has to go in the unit's place and the unit's place is zero, under zero put two and add 20 plus two gives me 22. This is how you do the sum. So you're applying the place value of two is 20. The face value of two is two. 20 plus two is 22. So Whenever you're writing the face value of a particular digit, it always goes in the units place. It has, if it has to be added or if it has to be subtracted. Addition means sum, sum means addition. Difference means subtraction, subtraction means difference. So now we come to our fifth and sixth sum. I am doing the first part, that is the A part of both of them. And there are two more sums, B and C, that will be done by you. It's very simple. They have told us insert commas and write the number name according to the Indian system of numeration. The sixth sum says insert commas and write the number name according to the international system of numeration. You will cut the word international and you will write Indian. In this particular sum, you will cut the word international and write Indian because we are going to learn only the Indian system of numeration. So remember to do that. I will write a short note out here so that you remember that in the sixth sum, sixth cut international and write Indian. Because we are not doing the international system of numeration. We are doing the Indian system of numeration. So cut the word international and write Indian for the sixth sum. Don't forget to do that because then you will be confused that international has been given, but sir has not taught us international. We are not doing international. We're just doing Indian. Now, just to give you an, or, uh, an idea as to how the international system looks like, you just need to know it. We are not going to assess you. We are not going to ask you about it. They put commas for the international system, they put, or the international people, when they set their enumeration, they put commas after every three numbers. So zero units, tens, uh, zero is in the units place. So units, tens, hundreds. Then they have thousand, 10,000, 100,000. They put commas after every three. We're not going to discuss any, this any further because then it's going to confuse you. Let's stick to the Indian system of enumeration. So now I have to put commas and I have to write the num uh, number name. Write the number name according to the Indian system of numeration. Now the Indian system numeration, what do we do? From right to left, one, two, three. And then after every two, two digits, we keep putting the commas. So eight, five, comma, zero, five, five. What does this become? This becomes 85,000. Eighty-five thousand 
and 55 and 55. This has already been done with you in class 5. So you shouldn't be having any trouble. So that is why I'm doing A. B and C you will do by yourselves. So A will be done in a black pen. B and C you will do in a blue pen because that's you're doing by yourself for homework, which I told you. All classwork in black, all homework in blue. Now let's put commas here. One, two, three, comma, one, two, comma. So I get units, tens, hundreds, thousands, tens, thousands, lakhs, 10 lakhs. So this is 78 lakhs. So I will write 78 lakhs. Thirty-five thousand four hundred and ten So you have to put the commas according to the Indian system of numeration and then write the number name. All this work has to be completed in sum number six. So this is how it has been written. Now, yeah, okay, this has to be L-A-K-H-S, L-A-K-H-S, lakhs. So we have 78 lakhs, 35,410. 78 lakhs, 35,410. Um, once you have understood this concept, this is how these sums have to be done. A I have done for you, B and C will be done by yourself with a blue pen in your notebook. But everything has to be copied, everything from your textbook and everything, the solutions from the board that I have given. Remember that in sum number six, you will cut out the international, the word international and write the word Indian because we're not following the international system of numeration. We are following the Indian system of numeration. So please do complete all your work. If you have any queries, you can call me up on my landline number. Don't call up on the landline number during the morning or in the afternoon because I may be at school or I may be working from home. It depends on the days that I need to go to school and need to stay at home. Do call upon you if you want. You can call up after 12.30, after you've finished all your lessons, till if you have any doubts, and then I can clarify it. And if you're still unable to understand or we are not able, unable to communicate or I am not able to uh, pick up your call, then we can take it upon the next interactive session that we have after uh, we have done for the week. So we'll have an interactive session only on Monday from... Tuesday till Friday, I will have a brief introduction for every interactive lesson. And then you have to go through the video and do your work for the entire day. So that's all for today. Please do update your work and keep your work updated till sub number six, exercise 1.1. 1 .1.